Therefore, consciously examining the movement and evaluating the selective manner in which the movement is made allows us to organise the exercise. In this case, when the patient activates a compensatory movement in the frontal plane, they need to be given specific information. When they go beyond the horizontal, they receive an acoustic signal, or, as we said, vibratory. And it is an information that was the same as a top signal. Therefore, I am not interested in you continuing to make this movement in this way. You must make the movement only in an attempt to control, with the goal of controlling the trunk.